Hi everybody and welcome for today's poster number 616. We are September, September 7, 2020 and uh, we are on the poster number 15 of the mini series named Mental Process. I get uh, Apollo in Japanese and here I have Mental Process unfortunately here is a character, the font, uh, how it, what's his name? R Feng Xin Shu doesn't have in Japanese because it is a Chinese typeface. So I have to find another typeface to get all the character needed. And I am doing it right now by searching something who looks like pretty nice. Yeah, my Chinese font have some problem to, to find uh, this character there. So let's see the real Japanese. And I think that kind of stuff would be nice. Yeah, it's a contrast between uh, this and this. Uh, I check the double three, W three, and it is a sinner typeface. Mm. Let's go down and see if I miss another good character typeface there in Japanese. Uh, Here are the Japanese all over. Um, what's the difference between the pro N and the pro? Not a lot, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not a lot of difference. I ch I uh, stay with the Irajino Kaku got Gothic Pro. So here we are. I'm still using the same brain. Um, it's like if I'm going lazy to to get a, another render or do another color for the brand, but I think this silver looks okay for the kind of poster I'm making now. Um, it's fine. Let's transform it. Take some uh, time yeah and uh, I'm replacing my microphone in a good way it's not really a quality microphone as you can maybe imagine and uh, let's center the brain in the center of the canvas here we are let's move a little bit this there I just check the typeface of yesterday's poster. The core sound G. Place it there. And we are ready to design this poster. Uh, don't save. No, no, I don't want. 
Ok, come on. Please. Here we are. I center you horizontally and vertically. Yeah, I changed the number to 15. I place a, a black square with a white stroke again to fit my title there. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why, I just like it very much. There is no, no reason except that it's aesthetic to my eyes. And I just enjoy it. Let's get the cigar stroke like 29. The proportions looks okay. I want to duplicate it behind the brand. Like this. I already give some depth, some depth to the poster just by adding these three layers of rectangles type brain and uh, rectangles and type again there uh, today i will use a uh, orange color or another fun and nice color maybe light blue um, let's uh, see how it look like um yeah no maybe for tomorrow today i said i will use an orange so let's use an orange darker yeah like this it's look, it looks fine okay yeah maybe a bit uh, too dirty to dirty orange. Let's select there. Yeah. Yeah, it looked nice. That's the orange I want to use to create today's poster. So let's try, uh, let's uh, start with applying big things. Let's go until there. Maybe uh, like this. And like this there. Behind the brain. And let's play with the the light gray I uh, I usually used for this little mini series into the mini series of the mini series of the daily design challenge. There, make it look weird a little bit. Yeah, weird enough. Okay. Mm. Let's cut uh, an ellipse 
into the brain. Okay, I don't want to distract the brain because I'm not sure about what the result will, will look like. So I create a mask layer. I come back there, command C, command V. And I duplicate the shape there. Like this. Oh, I see what I can do. I like it, the, the, the little brain I used yesterday. And let's make a small version of the brain somewhere on the canvas, like uh, oh, smaller, smaller. Yeah, like this. Looks okay. Around four or five times bigger than this. Transform in progress and it is done. Let's place it there. Looks fine. Um, duplicate the Japanese font. I want it orange. I want big orange. Set it in orange. Enlarge it with a command T and drag and drop an anchor point until you are approximately happy with the size. Okay, work in progress. Here we are. Mm. more tight, more close to the little uh, lines, line on the, yeah, maybe too close. Still too close. Yeah, um, no, too, too far. Let's move. I want this little part there here to spoose the the shape on the right there. So that's the smaller smaller Japanese font. Let's place it there for now. Uh, I want uh, this text horizontal a uh, vertical so let's do it and I want it smaller too okay come on please here we are and I select the process, the Japanese process writing there. Oh, come on. T for text. I double, double click. And please, you select it. Come on. It's not big deal. Yes, here you are. Oh no. Oh god. Come on. Yeah. Oh no, please. Enough. Yeah. 
this. Yeah. Finally. And I erase you. I don't forget to copy and paste after make the leading of this typeface higher and in black too. Black. Okay. So I think that around 145 pixel for you will be okay. Yeah, looks fine. So I duplicate it and place the previous text inside. Whoa. It's very challenging. No. Don't show me that options. I don't want them. Ah, come on. No, I want that. Um, I don't care. I have to paste. Hey, stop it. I just push command V, but uh, it seems that it doesn't want to work. Come on. No, it's not going. Ah. Yeah, Co he paste it. Paste the text. I copy just before, please. Of course. I don't show that option all the time. Ah, here you are. Okay, save the file for now. In case if uh, something crash or let me fall while working. So, it's the file is saved. No, me, I want I want to select the type there so like this i said 145 pixels 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 145 and in black color so easy Okay, here we are. No, me, it's not that difficult. Uh, please, come on. I'm losing my time. And no, don't show me that. I really have to set the option. Tree start to bother me. Come on, come on. Please. No, man, I don't want this. I don't ask for this. Oh, 
Wow! Three minutes for something we should take uh, three seconds. Okay, that's fine. I got it. Let's place that there and this one on the bottom. Play with the horizontal and vertical lines. I also want to duplicate this text there, set it in black and play with that around the corners. I want them to leave the corners. No, no, no. Ah, here, black. Okay, that's fine. Ah, come on, it's not the time to put me now. So do what I ask you to do with my keyboard touch. Go. Yeah. It wasn't that difficult, right, mentor? Oh. Place me the L first. You only got that. M. E N T A L. Okay. That's my little boy. Mantle. Okay, I want it a little bit much bigger. Done. For sure, it takes time. To transform to, to font, to text. But here you are, fortunately. Manto. Where is your little brother? No, oh, your little brother is there. Yeah, I already click on mentor there. Yeah, voila. Mentor. Now let's cut it. It's not fine like that. Mentor. Yeah, 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 I du duplicate to you like this. Yeah, very simple, huh? no problem, not big deal. So, 
Double click on the text. Triple double click on the text. Mentor and I write process do 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 it ah uh. <laughs> come on I'm really it's terrible process okay okay it's done it's done don't do something else. Process like this. All right. Okay, let's place the Japanese font a bit higher. Some pixel above. Let's place the light grade duplication a bit up to. And that's finally there. Finally. Oh no, don't want to duplicate you. Oh. I duplicate not the background. And what am I doing? Um, and in the time the action take place, I already moved to a next step and Photoshop doesn't follow for now because there are too much software open on my computer. Sorry Photoshop. You don't have enough resources. 15. like this yes congratulations you did it and you did it well let's make the number one touch the side of the canvas and place a duplication above on the bottom like this fifteen let's duplicate one more time this font get rid of the tracking zero select the light gray color for it now there go there to change the color okay there here we are no the orange gray where is my number 15 i don't see it anymore what happens no, I want you black, man. I want you light gray, I mean, pure. Up. You go on the bottom of all the layers. Yeah. Go under. Yeah. Like this. 
Yeah, this poster is really based on the repetition on vertical and uh, horizontal shape. Bring the, the eyes a little bit everywhere. Drives the eyes of the viewers everywhere around and inside of the canvas. That's one of the reasons why this kind of style works pretty well and here we are with the number 15 oh maybe I should put the minus tracking oh I said me I have to set a minus tra tracking tracking yeah minus like minus 20 to 23 or something like that okay come on come on okay transform it it's fine it's fine just do it quick mm, i like it yesterday's uh Yesterday's color, the green was really nice. I think the orange is okay, but uh, not as great as the as the green was. It works well, but the green was really good. Oh, that's too much. Okay, we have to be more precise and play a little bit more here. Looks fine, looks better, looks okay. Yeah, it looks fine, we don't see the bottom. I think it's okay like this. How to call this option? Set the kerning, oh, of course, the kerning. Let's place it down a little bit like this and it's okay. Oh, maybe duplicate. Oh, I see maybe again, sorry. Okay, in white, let's place it above the big light rectangle and see what happens. Okay, it should just be above the types, the ch Japanese types, here, like this. That's just fine. Okay, let's make it a little bit bigger. like this i think it will be perfect let's apply it and wait for it of course yeah it looks fine so today i want to have uh, an extra work on it so i will create a pattern made of simple lines 
really really simple my diagonals um, let's remove the fill add a stroke start with a black stroke nine pixel is not enough 49 Come on, boy. Okay. So I want a silver stroke. Yes, like A. What's wrong there? Line tool, yeah, sure. Twenty nine. Hey, let's put the black, remove the feet again. And why it's so thin? Why it don't doesn't take the line at the stroke? Ooh. Don't get nervous. Just means nothing. Oh, come on. I had really too long time to wait there. It's not possible. Uh, let's prepare the next step. Yeah, but the next step is to create a pattern with some lines and uh, add them uh, behind behind and in front of the brain to create a more dimensional layout and deal with that but photoshop is looking for something there what's wrong okay i think i'll cut the video and tell you the news just when it finished to calculate that stuff come on i finally successfully make a, a line so let's duplicate it several time first create a folder for that because there will have I will have a lot of occurrence of duplication, it's not occurrence. And let's duplicate those lines. Let's outside. Time there. One time there. And one more time here. Select all the, the shape 
the lines to there and distribute the spacing equally between all of them. Let's uh, duplicate the folder one time and merge all of the shape in one and unique layer then whoop, not with the circular marquee tool but with the rectangular you come there and you get rid of the shape it's a uh, oblique finition there so i want them straight like this and you can start to cut inside the shape there to create a pattern yeah i want it behind The number 15 there because it's a pretty strong pretty strong in black there it is so I can remove that one Let's create and duplicate the folder there. One more time. Hide the first one. Select everything inside and change the color. One group copy. What is that? Uh, come on, open the folder. Okay, I create a folder into the folder. No, yeah, just open. Yeah, select this, hide it, remove it. Select all the shapes. And change their colors with the orange. Okay, there. What's that? Oh, come on. Here we are, finally. Come on E on the folder to merge all the layer together and create one shape, one layer. Like this, I can cut a bit inside. Come and see, come on V, hide the layer there. And paste it somewhere in between the tall and the light gray square not that fine mm. 
maybe like this. Let's duplicate it, command T and make it smaller like this. Yeah, looks fine there. <coughs> Let's duplicate another time the layer there. Select all the shape inside. And I will uh, set them with a uh, light gray stroke. Yeah. <coughs> Command E to merge the layer, uh, all the shapes together, yeah. You are too high on the arborescence. Still too high. I want you to come behind all of them. Like this, why not? Okay, let's duplicate it and make it smaller like this. Okay, here we are. Let's play a bit with the brush, create a new layer. I have the orange selected and not this what is the stroke there? Oh no. Formless grand stripes. Why not? Okay. I click two times to remove a bit of transparency. Like this. Maybe it's uh, a bit too obvious there. Let's continue to add uh, some grunge brush dusty is it really what i want what i want 90 degree here and a bit here Let's play with the gray, light gray, and see another shape, dust particle, no, that's too, too light. Um, first I should select the gray, and go there. And a bit here too. Let's select this shape, create a layer, place it behind. Come there with a white color now, a pure white, and now dust particles. One time. Yeah. Oh, 
Uh, you see now that chip looks really awkward because I have uh, I have uh, straight lines everywhere, so it doesn't work well. Let's get a bit inside the brain now. I'm sure about what I'm doing, so I can remove it and let's place it around there I'll make it fly a bit like this and maybe here I can directly hide part of the brain by adding a shape oh i'm on pass for sure it won't work i'll come there make it bigger piece here we are and i think it's fine like this okay I have to remove that part a little bit, like here, remove that shape, oh no, I have to select it, remove the part of the brain, come there and remove it. Ooh, I'm creating a line and it's not what I want. I want a rectangle tool to create a rectangle. Or maybe I just have to duplicate it. Ah, I said maybe again, stop to say that. That word, unuseful word. Here we are. Let's place those together together in the same yeah I just aligned them and that's done okay see this little one is really too strong I have to make it smaller like this place it a little bit above yeah like that let's take this rectangle um ah this square there place it over the brain like this and change to color <coughs> okay it's not fine these two <coughs> is too high too big too large that's not what i want here we are okay i i know what to do get rid of them I duplicate the layer with my uh, my pattern made of line I go down to check all the shape I remove 
remove the fill, remove the no, uh, remove the stroke, but it set it in white color. Make a, a long selection like this. Copy and paste. Oof. Merge all of the player. Command C, Command V. Oh god. Rasterize that. Command C, Command V. Here you are. And let's place it inside the brain like this. Go down, go down. There. Looks. Looks fine, maybe a little bit too strong the lines are too thick and I want them thinner somewhere like this is nice yeah yeah looks fine Still a little bit strong. Let's do like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, today's poster looks uh, looks good for now. Let it like that and tomorrow design the poster number 16 of the mini series mental process it will be the poster 617 and uh, thank you to follow along for this poster tutorial i hope you you will get the strength to to do your own stuff and explore your own style or just uh, just try to do something this way and uh, find your own path and way to to graphic design and daily design challenge i thank you to follow and see you tomorrow take good care of yourself goodbye